Welcome to As We Get Older. I'm Laura Orndeff. When I created the website, the videos, the blogs, the social media, my intent was to share my story because there were a lot of things that weren't exactly in the norm and a lot of things I didn't, I didn't know I didn't know. But so many people have reached out to me with their stories that they had things that weren't in the norm. They weren't expected. Even if they, like me, had planned what they thought they had planned, every detail, they had those bumps in the road. And I realized I wanted to share those stories with you and how better than from their own mouths. Now, I'm not advocating anything. So when they talk about their experiences, I am not advocating anything. But I wanted to share their stories. This is one of them. Hello, and welcome to another video in the As We Get Older series. I'm David Moore. In this video, we're going to talk about what it means to be an executor of an estate if you don't live in the same state as the deceased. So when my mother passed away, she did not live in the same state as myself or my sister, and I was the executor of her will. I wouldn't have thought that that would have been much of a problem, and in many states, it may not be. But where my mother passed away, it added another level of administrative stuff that we had to do because both my sister and I lived in a different state. So what that meant was I had to get a resident of the state in which my mother passed away to verify that I could be the executor of my mother's estate, even though that's how it was deemed in her will. That sounds very odd, and it sounded very odd to me as well, but it's what I had to do. So luckily, my mother had a very good close neighbor who I took to the courthouse because it had to be notarized. She had to verify that I was indeed my mother's son, and I was indeed the person named as the executor of the estate. And then I became the executor of the estate. But what this also meant was that any paperwork during the course of closing the estate and dealing with the probate issues, anything that got sent to me as the executor of that estate also got sent to my mother's neighbor as the resident of the state. Now, luckily, my mother had a very close friend and neighbor, and this was not much of an issue, but it would give me pause if I had to have basically a lot of private probate court issue things about her estate being sent to someone that really wasn't a part of our family. That wasn't a big deal for us, but it may be something you need to consider with your state when you go to set up your executor if the executor of your will resides in a different state. Please consult with a lawyer in your state and perhaps they can let you know what the rules and regulations are. Thank you for watching. This has been another video and as we get older and please check the rest of our library for other titles you may be interested in.